Hello there. Uh, my name is Binvo. Welcome to our mid-spring session for English 100 online. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. This is my um, orientation video for um, the first week of our eight-week section. And um, let's begin with the home page of our Canvas shell. And uh, just as a side note, if you don't know how to log on to Canvas and access this course, I recommend that you email me um, or contact um, admission and records um, at Coxwell. But I was told that by this time, by the time that you're uh, in the class, you've already been um, informed of how to access this online course on uh, Canvas. And this is our homepage here, uh, full of information. Um, I will put this video here um, for you to watch or rewatch later on. Um, the course is organized by weekly mod modules. So what I meant is um, if you click on modules here or here or even down below where it says um, start here right? or here. So there are four places where you can click on module to get started. So let's get started. I'm going to click on start here to go to our um, modules here. So as you can see, um, on your end, you should have two modules that are open right now. Um, the Getting Started Unit Zero module and Week One Introdu Introduction to English 100 module. Um, let me go through the modules um, by clicking on this first item here for the welcome page. Um, here you, uh, you will get information on the, my welcome letter and email, so be sure to click on it and read what I uh, have written there for you. Um, very pertinent information, especially uh, information on how to get help, how to get started and um, especially also the <laughs> syllabus um, in PDF and the syllabus on Canvas. So this is um, our syllabus link uh, or section on Canvas and it has contact information, course policy supporting your success, online, using, online meeting using Zoom conferencing software. And I am taking uh, this video recording using Zoom so these are the four steps to join me on Zoom. The schedule uh, to meet me on Zoom is actually here. I have posted it here on the front page that every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. I will be on Zoom. So um, you need to join me on one of these um, three scheduled meetings on, you, on Zoom, okay? Um, and I also have the, the time here, but th these times are for first week only. I am especially more um, available online <laughs> during the first week because I'd like to be more um, welcoming and help you get or, uh, oriented, um, get, get started with this class without any problem. Okay, so um, tomorrow, um, Monday, March 18th at 6 p.m., I will be on Zoom. Um, so if you could figure out how to get on Zoom by following my uh, directions there, um, you can get more help that way and you can meet me online. I can see you online and say hello and explain uh, in more in greater details that this orientation video cannot capture. So when I'm ready with this, page i click on the next page uh, i'm still under modules and uh, this page here tells you more about me uh, featuring my picture here that i took in japan in summer 2017 um, that that goes to show you that i like traveling a lot and i hope that you can get a chance to travel yourself click next to read this third page under getting started module and it has um, information on online readiness, um, especially two of these um, two useful links to determine 
do, do, sorry, excuse me, to determine how well prepared you are in um, terms of online readiness. Okay, so once you're ready, click next to um, read about core rules of netiquette, um, which I hope everybody will observe um, just to be respectful um, if you want to be if, if you want others to treat you with, with respect. And we do observe netiquette um, in this course, especially because um, we have discussions, forums, where we interact with each other. So we need to be courteous and respectful towards each other and one another. Um, this page um, features orientation videos. So um, if you're brand new to Canvas, um, the seri the, this series of orientation videos might come in handy. We are utilizing discussions, quizzes, assignment submissions. Um, you might want to, you do need to check on your grades. Um, I post your grades on a weekly basis. So I try to respond to your submissions within 72 hours. So that's roughly about two or three days if my math uh, works out okay. But um, I, I am an, um, a part-time instructor, so I work at other schools as well, um, such as Evergreen Valley College, West Valley College, and Gavlin College. So this semester, I'm quite um, backed up. So I, I would like to ask for your understanding in advance if I don't get around to grading your submissions within 72 hours. Uh, but try to communicate with me and I will communicate with you to clarify any misunderstandings or anything that um, I feel that you should know um, on a weekly basis. This item here is um, our syllabus in the form of a PDF. So this is the full syllabus that you could download to your computer if you don't want to spend um, too long to, to wait for it to load on Canvas. So I recommend that you click to download um, this important document and spend some time to read and study it. It has um, all sorts of information that you need, especially the assignment breakdown here or assignments listed there and towards the end it has um, a course schedule at a glance and a, a detailed break uh, course schedule uh, breakdown for you to so if you're interested in knowing what we are going to be doing later on in our our eight week um, section then you could go ahead and scroll and get to that particular week say if you're out of town week five and you want to know ahead what we're going to be doing that week this is an excellent way to gauge where we we will be um during any particular week um i do change the the order of assignments and and so the the course course schedule um it's not i don't observe that faithfully and uh judiciously so in other words, in other words, I'm saying that I might um, and will change some of the items around. So it's best to keep in touch with me, um, and it's best to log in to Canvas um, at least three times a week. And as you know, this is a condensed course, uh, fifteen week course condensed down to eight weeks. So it's very um, diff it's very important that you keep uh, regular contact and. Um, keep logging in to find out uh, and work on your assignments and submit them. So this item here is a quiz and uh, you have three attempts to take this quiz and it's a mean to help orient you. So um, if you don't do too well, and you don't get 10 out of 10 uh, by your third attempt, uh, go ahead and contact me to um, request another attempt and I would be glad to provide that. Um, so these points are um, for, are there for you to grab, but um, you can grab all 10 of them quite easily. So no sweat there. Uh, interactive um, activity through a quiz like that um, does help participants in an, an online course to retain information better. 
So um, there might be occasional quizzes, especially on the sign readings. Um, so here is the next item under um, our Get Getting Started module. Um, so this is where you can post how do I do this questions um, or any technical issues or problems you might have. And so not only will, you, uh, will I get to see your questions and respond to them, um, your classmates can also respond if they know. So this is sort of like our student lounge and question and answer um, place, virtual lounge, if you will, for us to get uh, each other's help if, if we do need any. Okay, so once you're ready, click next to read a little blurb on the time commitment to dispel the myth that online courses take less time. It is actually not true. It, it does take more time for most cases. Um, so you need to figure out your um, time management and do so wisely to meet the rigor of the course. So next we have uh, the last item which congratulates you to get um, this module done. And so, um, okay, so for, forget this because this is an item that I have not um, shared with you and you don't need to know. So I'll, um, I'll get rid of these, but um, the next item after that module, that first initial module is week one, um, the read and writing connection. And again, it, um, this item reminds you to view the syllabus um, and features my contact information. So this number here is the best way to contact me as I do respond to text quite um, immediately or as, you know, as soon as I can when I, I receive your text. So um, if you try to call me on this number, you probably won't be able to get any response because it is reserved for texting only. So please keep that in mind. Uh, if you don't like texting, you could also send me an email via my uh, bvo at coxwell.edu address, or you can send me a message via inbox. But I don't recommend inbox because I don't um, usually get coxwell email. Um, but I do have this, um, BVO at Coxwell EDU um, email address linked to my phone. So um, that's another good way to contact me. To contact me. So week one objectives are here. Uh, and uh, when you have a chance, please review it. And then also uh, the, the assignments that are listed. There are five items. So we go in, uh, in order from one to five. Okay. so. Um, these are the three questions for our uh, first discussion uh, forum. I call them the discussion forums. Um, so, so if you are ready, then click next to get to there um, to that discussion. So, um, when you are here and uh, you're ready to post a reply, just click on reply, and then start typing out uh, your responses to these. Okay. You can also view the bolded um, instructions here in terms of getting full credit. 20 points are up for grab, and uh, there is a rubric attached. So here it is. Um, to get all five, you know, you, you do need to respond to the topic um, in a thoughtful manner and then also reply to your peers, two of them. So. Uh, this discussion is due on on Wednesday, this Wednesday, two days away. So um, get on it, jump on it and post and then go back later on to add your peers, your peer replies. Okay, so um, don't forget that. Um, but the discussion should be still be available to you uh, until Sunday. So once you're done with this, click next to view our two paragraph introductory essay. This week we have two essays, but this essay is due on um, this Sunday, Sunday, this Sunday, March 24th, before 11.40, sorry, 11.59 p.m. There's this rubric attached to it. It is worth 100 points. Um, 
this assignment is quite easy um, because all you have to do is write two paragraphs responding to those four items there. So uh, study the, the rubric to ensure that you can reach, um, you know, you can get the maximum available points, which is 100. Uh, the next item under this module is um, our next discussion for week one module on the essay, More Demo Adler's How to Mark a Book. And um, this is how I usually mark it. And this is how um, Mr. Adler marked it himself. Okay, so uh, follow the instructions here to respond to these four questions. Uh, again, it, when you are ready to respond, just a reply and then type out your response. Um, if I were you, I would do this just so that I, um, as a student, I, I have the questions right there for me. So I would just type out my response. Um, uh, marking up a text helps us connect our memory to what we read and uh, it also slows it down for us. Okay, but um, you have to read the, um, the article, the essay first before you could respond to that question. Um, as you work on this assignment, I want to cancel because I, I don't want to post. Um, as you work on this assignment and, and you don't understand something or, or you don't know how to respond to either of these four questions or one of them, uh, one of these four questions, but either <laughs> one of these four questions, you could jump on Zoom. Um, again, Zoom is um, scheduled to be uh, on during Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 p.m. Uh, join me on uh, during those times to get your questions answered, your work, um, you know, to, to get my feedback on your submission or your work. Um, and then the last item from this module, I'm trying to keep this orientation video short, but it's not happening very well. But this icon essay is uh, the last item. This essay is due next Wednesday, March 27th. Um, spend some time to read this. There, there are links attached to this. And again, um, if you have questions, um, I would welcome you um, and your questions during a Zoom meeting. So um, let me see if I could take you through how to join me on Zoom now. So you would click, you would say zoom.us join. So just type that address in as my instruction states. Once you're, you click uh, there you can enter in the meeting ID, which is also found on the home page of our uh, course shell. I'm just going to um, copy that and I click join. You're going to need to follow your um, your in, uh, your computer prompt because I already am on Zoom recording this. I cannot join anymore, so I'm just going to say no. But on your end, just click, just follow the prompt and then the program will download and open the program um, to let it run and you'll be automatically, um, you know, be in my uh, Zoom. I need to start the Zoom meeting first before you can join and I, I try to be available. Uh, I try to log on five minutes before, or the 10 minutes before and just wait. So if you happen to be here early, uh, you could join me early. Um, I will stay until 6.15 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to, um, to see if anybody will show up to see me on Zoom. If not, then I will end the meeting at a roughly around 6, um, 15 or 6.20 on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you cannot make any of those because of uh, work or whatever uh, reason you might have, you may request um, additional meetings with me per, uh, per weekly basis. But keep in mind that I'm uh, working at other schools and I have uh, my own online classes to study. Um, I might not be able to um, satisfy your request. However, I will try my best. So 
again, I welcome you to my um, to our class, <laughs> not mine, just our class, and uh, we start. We officially start today. Uh, my clock shows 12:07 a.m. I will post this video um, as soon as I get it to Candace, and at 6 p.m. later on tonight, I will be on Zoom. Thank you for watching and uh, happy learning.